Men have finally caught up with the times and decided to stop helping women altogether. No more creepy guy backlash, no more videos of ourselves on the internet just for trying to approach or help a modern woman. No more prison time just for helping a woman who doesn't find us attractive so she calls the cops on us. No more invitations to the HR office just for helping a female colleague with a task. No more. I don't believe women should have to come over and start a conversation with a man. I think that's a man's job. I'm just old school with that. But then I watch these videos. Stop approaching women when they're alone. No, men are weird. Stop talking to women you don't know. Because do not approach a woman who did not inspire that. No. I hate when men approach women. So should a guy ever approach a girl in public? I don't think so, no. Is it too direct for like a stranger to come off the street or in a restaurant to say, oh, I think you're really interesting and get your number there? Is that? Of course, because I had this type of situations. It's weird. So for the men who say they don't want to go over there anymore, in the great words of Chris Rock, I'm not saying men should stop going over to talk to women, but I understand. Did I touch a girl without her permission? This is what I'm going to do to you. Don't you ever do that shit again. You hear me? You hear me? No, no, don't touch her again. Don't touch her her again. You record this shit. Record this. No, no. He was touching little little a little girl. No, no, no. And no. I've defended no, no. her. No, listen to me. Sit down. Oh, Sit down. Shit. Men have finally caught up with the times and decided to stop helping women altogether. It seems that these pesky feminists have convinced women that they are capable of being independent and self-sufficient. And we men have happily obliged. After all, if women don't need us, why bother trying to be of any use to them? Gone are the days of chivalry and fairy tales where a damsel in distress is rescued by her handsome prince. Now women are on their own, and they better be prepared to handle any situation that comes their way from changing a flat tire to defending themselves against sexual assault. Of course, I'm not suggesting this is how things should be, but hey, it's what these women wanted, right? So let them deal with the consequences of their own actions and choices, and we men will sit back and watch the show. Have you ever wondered why some guys are hesitant to lend a helping hand to women these days? Well, it seems like the fear of being labeled a creepy guy is a major culprit. No man wants to be seen as a creep just for trying to be a decent human being and offer some assistance. So, they'd rather play it safe and not help at all. But seriously, this whole creepy guy notion is getting out of hand. Let's dive deeper into this topic, shall we? You know, when women go to the gym and they call men creeps because we're just looking at them to make sure that, you know, they're not hurting themselves or, see what I'm saying? Things like that, right? I'm glad that this happened and nobody had done shit to help her out. They're just looking at her. And fellas, that's what we got to start doing. Because what they do, they go to the gym, hook up, hook up their camera to record you looking at them. And then as soon as you even just glance at them... They call you a creep, they up upload it on social media, and they call you names, and they call you a creep to make you look bad. Now, this is not going, you know, towards her or whatever. I'm just making a a big reference, and I'm just talking in general. Because women these days, they go to the gym, and they start acting like victims. So what we're going to do, fellas, when they start struggling or even hurting themselves, we're just going to let it happen. I'm glad that nobody did shit, because I wouldn't... The word creepy has become a go-to term for some women to describe any man they don't like in the last decade. Now, don't get me wrong, some men do creepy things that are totally inappropriate. But let's not forget that not every guy can control how they look or their mannerisms. Am I right? If something about a man's appearance or behavior makes you uncomfortable, that's your issue, not theirs. So, it's not fair to go around slandering them to your female friends or co-workers as soon as they exit the room. Unfortunately, it seems like the anti-male social climate has made guys feel like they have to be extra careful and neutral in their interactions with females at work. Whenever I say a simple good morning to their female co-workers, no one bats an eye. But when one of the awkwarded guys says the exact same thing, all hell breaks loose. Suddenly, he's labeled as creepy, and one girl even went so far as to say, you, he makes my skin crawl. Now, don't get me wrong if a guy was actually following you around or showing up uninvited. That would be totally creepy. But to attack and slander a guy just because you don't like the way he looks or dresses is really shallow, don't you think? And to make matters worse, the HR manager overheard one of the girls complaining and even offered to talk to the it guy about how he's making others feel uncomfortable. 
Being a guy and getting called creepy is no joke. It's like, how the heck are you supposed to defend yourself against a bunch of female office bullies who have already labeled you as such? It's a tough spot to be in, that's for sure. And let's not forget about the negative connotation that comes with the word creepy these days. It conjures up images of peeping toms and, unfortunately, guys like Harvey Weinstein. Not exactly a flattering association to have, and I write. But what's even worse is when the biggest offender of the creepy tag at work happens to be really overweight herself. I mean, can you imagine the backlash if someone were to point out her weight, likes, talk about a double standard? Let's not forget that women can be creepy too. I've had a few encounters with some seriously creepy females, from exes who stalked me to super possessive girlfriends who handcuffed me to a bed while I was sleeping. Talk about intense. I even had to profess my undying love for an hour just to be set free. Likes? Now, imagine randomly calling a guy creepy or spreading rumors about him when he's done nothing wrong. It's like a bunch of guys going around the office and calling you a slut for no reason. Not cool, right? And the worst part is that you'll be left wondering who has heard this rumor, who believes it, and how the heck you can clear your own name. What a mess. When these women use the word creepy, I tend to find that it is usually used when a socially awkward or unattractive guy approaches them or tries to flirt with them. Yet it is hardly ever used when a conventionally attractive man flirts, at least in the context I've witnessed. To add insult to the injury, the girl in question will sometimes laugh with her friends or the social group at large about how weird or creepy he is, thus tainting his reputation. I don't see why this is warranted simply because an unattractive or awkward man took a risk and approached a girl, especially if he does so respectfully. Society lobes moral outrage about fat shaming, and I agree that it is cruel, but I don't see why it is any better to shame someone for being not handsome or socially adept. Arguably, it could be a bliss as well, because some of these guys might be on the spectrum or a little slow. I recently had a chat with his grandma and her lady friends about the good old days of flirting. And guess what? Back in the day, they didn't think twice about it. They actually appreciated it when a man noticed them and found it charming when he paid them a compliment or asked them out. Who knew, right? Maybe this whole creep shaming thing is just a generational divide. But here's the thing. Why do some people feel entitled to only be approached by attractive people? That's just not fair. Why should guys be vilified for making a move? But let's be real, if a dude values himself, he's probably not going to bother helping a damsel in distress. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.